PC Podcast. Happy to be with you again today. Got bring back one of our special guests, man. Very, very knowledgeable man. We'll check it back up on him, man, and see what he's what he's got planned for 23, man. Go ahead and let you introduce yourself again. Hey, man, it's a blessing to be here. You know, this is our second time doing it. Um, if you don't know who I am already, my name is Deron Brown. I'm the host of a podcast for men. I'm also the own the the owner of a Geek Mode School, Geek Mode School of React Native. I teach software development to aspiring software developers who want to improve the quality of their life. Mm, so yeah, thanks for having me, man. Yeah, yeah, for sure, man. I had to have you back. Let's see, man. We'll touch touch back up, man. Uh, since your recap, man, of uh, 22, man, like where you see anything different? Where I mean, all this knowledge has been dropped online and stuff like that. You think are these are these women picking up on anything, or is it or is it just getting like worse or so? Like um, like to where it's making it easier or it's harder once again for 23 for men to be searching for women. I think things are getting easier, man. Okay. Honestly, okay. I think it's getting the reason. I, and the reason that I say that is because for the longest time, I don't know if you remember when the red pill was initially started, mm-hmm. but when it initially started, it was men that were really giving advice to young men and telling them basically to be aware of like the dangers of marriage, you know, dangers of divorce, mm-hmm. things you should, things we don't talk, talk about publicly. You know, we don't really hear from a, uh, other men in our family as well. You know, mm-hmm. as a, as a young man, you were told you always have to be the provider of this, et cetera. So anyways, the, the, uh, when the red pill was first established, you had that kind of narrative, but for the last three years, it was kind of like a, a screw women kind of narrative and that women mm-hmm. are delusional women are this and that. Mm-hmm. But now I feel like, I feel like the, I feel like there's, there's more of a, there's a different voice coming to tune. Yes. W- yes. Women are delusional, you know, they have all these different problems, yeah, but sure. at the same time, now you have men like an Andrew Tate, another man that follow like Andrew Tate's, um, his kind of movement, his message, they're telling men like, Hey, don't worry about women too much. Get your, get yourself straight. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And I feel like the more men focus on that, the better their relationships will be. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. You think, um, so you feel like more, women have woken up to make it easier for men or men have made, just made progress and growth like to where it's easier. I'll say, I'll say this. I feel like women are going to be women. The way society is designed today is basically it, it, it enables women to be a lot more immature than men are, you know? So, mm-hmm. but I'll say this to myself personally, yeah. I know that the more I've been working on myself, like I told you before we got on here, I just purchased my first home. You know, I'm the first person in my family to ever, purchase property so that's a that's a big deal so the more i've been working on myself and building my own projects and also dating and things like that i've been i have a because of that i have a better idea who i am and what's going to fit so because i know who i am and i know what works for me there's certain women that just cannot invade my space Mm, period you know so yeah so you're always going to get whether it's, um, you're always going to get immature women. You're going to get people who don't like you, both, both male and female people who don't like you. But, but the stronger you are within yourself, the more you know thyself, the better off you're going to be in the long run. Yeah. Okay. I like that. Like, um, I've been coming across, man, like a lot, like sharing messages and everything on my on my platform and stuff like that. Having guys ask questions between a lot more, a little bit on financing some that come my way are not seem not to be too interested, man, in like better and health wise, man. Like whether you don't want to hit the gym, man, but just maybe read something, get your mind right, you know what I'm saying? Get just build something up like some type of way. I've been seeing I've been getting a lot of guys that like you see I have women on my podcast like on a weekly basis and like I had to remove like tagging them. Like even though I know the women are here for the exposure and stuff like that, I've been having to give them more love on my on my Instagram platforms and my uh, TikToks because like when I throw it on the, um, I throw it up on the YouTube man. Like a lot of like guys are just ignoring the message and just being simp's. Like, hey, what was our OnlyFans and or what, what, what was this man? Let me get her at so I can hit her up and hit her up in the DMs. And I'd be like, damn man, you guys ain't getting none of the message. Yeah. Like the whole time you guys just watch the show just to <laughs> just to see if the girl is gonna say something about her sex life or something. Man, it's just it's too much. Like, do you do you see that like <laughs> the I guess that that simp pool is just not improving? Yeah, but like well. Well, let me put it like this, man. I understand why that happens. Have you ever, you've been in school, yeah. you know, you ever read a chapter and then after you finish the chapter, you're like, what the hell did I read? You might remember like a, a yeah, small yeah, yeah. part of that yeah, chapter. The reason that that happens is because your mental state, you're, like mentally you're at a, like a different stage. So everything that you're reading, you just don't understand. So because you don't understand it, it doesn't like soak in. 
you only soak in a little bit of part, parts mm-hmm. that you do know. But if you were to go, but if you were to read that same chapter six months later, a year later, I promise you, you read it and be like, dang, I didn't know it said that in the first time. And it's the same thing with these young men. You know what I'm saying? You, you're giving these young men game. Mm. But they only remember in like bits and pieces of it because they, they can't relate to what you're saying. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You can okay. relate to what you're saying because you've been through it. Okay. But I promise you, there's other men that are listening to your story that can relate to what you're doing that they got the message. You yeah. feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I get you. I, I don't know about yours too much. I, I mean, on a weekly basis, I'm always checking on my analytics all the time, man. And my, my age group has shifted like a lot, man. I, I, like at first, it was, it was a, I was getting a lot of like, I believe it's 20. Is it twenty five to thirty four or thirty three? I believe that's thirty four. Like, twenty five to thirty four. Yeah, twenty five to twenty five. I believe. Yeah, and and like uh, now, man, it's in, it's increased, man, to um thirty. I'm thirty five to forty four is my main my men's that are like watching my show now, man. It's like I don't I don't I don't know. I don't see how I don't know if it shifted. I'm like, am I not sending the right message to the youngsters or like like it just seems I get like more older guys just watching me. It's, you you're getting a more mature audience yeah, and that yeah, just has yeah. to do with with who you are you know mm. okay okay yeah, yeah. I, was, I was thinking that's, that's not a like, bad thing necessarily I, I, I get you um i like another another thing i've been trying to push uh on a video this week was just um can you elaborate on it and tell me what your your version of it is the difference i'm trying to explain to men the difference between chasing and pursuing chasing and pursuing yeah uh, that's that's a good one. Um, I would say this: when you're chasing a woman, that's typically a woman that's playing games with you. You know, she's not a, a woman that likes you will make it easy or easy for you. Mm. So put it like this: when you actually say you, when you first meet a woman, mm. and then you're like, "Hey, you know, I find you attractive. You know, I like to get to know you. You know, can we exchange numbers?" And then you guys are texting. She takes forever to text you back, or sometimes she doesn't respond to you, or you meet her, you see her again. Like, say you meet her at the gym, you meet her again, and you can see obviously she's like. She's not making it easy for you to actually take her on a date. That's when you're chasing a person because obviously that person isn't receptive or she's playing games. Mm. But pursuing a woman is way different. Pursuing a woman is another level. It's when you meet a woman, you get her number, she's responsive, you're taking her, you're taking her on a date, you're courting her, you're doing these things. Mm. That's pursuing a woman because things are advancing. Mm. So that's the biggest difference. When you're pursuing, you're advancing. When you're chasing, you're just not getting anything out of the equation. Mm, okay, okay. 